Hey guys, happy Friday. I hope you're having a wonderful day and a great start to your weekend. Um, hopefully you guys have some really awesome plans for this weekend. If you are hopping on here, I would love, if you're a Faster Way client of mine, I would love for you guys to share some of your wins this week. And if you're not a Faster Way client, I still want to hear uh, your wins this week. That can be... Um, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be fitness or nutrition related. I just want to hear what went good for you this week, what went well, um, so that I can celebrate you all. That's one of the things that we do on Fridays in the Faster Way is celebrate our small wins. And I think over time that really helps us to um, to see progress in a different way in, in regards to our health and wellness journey. And it helps us to kind of build those small wins up to uh, our our larger goal that we have for ourselves. So um, hope you guys are having a great day. I see several of you all hopping on. I wanted to talk to you all about a, a different aspect of movement. Um, last week, I shared a lot about why strength training should be uh, the foundation of your exercise routine. But I also want to talk a little bit about something else, and that is called NEAT. Okay, that's a different kind of movement. It's non-exercise activity. Thermogenesis is the um, is the the term. Okay, and that is the energy expended when you're in movement outside of sleeping eating or formal exercise. So what I mean by formal exercise is like a, an actual workout. So our faster way workouts, our formal exercise, the, the workouts that you do at boot camp or, you know, at the gym, lifting weights, hit, that kind of thing. So this is everything else outside of that formal exercise and sleep um, and eating. Okay. Now, I, the, the title of this is Sitting is the New Smoking, and it's the truth, okay? So now uh, nowadays, we are spending a lot of time behind our computers. Myself personally, even though I am a fitness and nutrition um, coach, I coach the Faster Way to Fat Loss, which is a wonderful virtual fitness and nutrition program, but I still sit a lot I sit a lot of my day behind a computer, staring at a computer screen, not moving. Um, you know, unfortunately for many of us, that is the case. And even if you're engaging in regular exercise, so that what what I was talking about, the uh, formal exercise, even if you're engaging in that on a regular basis, you're doing those 30 minute workouts every day, which is wonderful and fantastic and has so many benefits. It's, it may not be enough to prevent disease um, and meaning disease, meaning heart disease, type two diabetes, cancers, and even it may not even be enough for you to see the body composition changes that you are hoping for. Um, so I want to share a little bit more about that component of your health journey because I think it is important to um, not just focus on the one thing being the uh, formal exercise that we do, but also consider where you can move more throughout your day, how you can incorporate that neat um, exercise in your day to help you uh, stay healthy for your overall health and wellness, but also for your, you know, to enhance your ability to lose weight, to burn fat, to um, strengthen your metabolism, you know, so all of those things. But it's important for me to, to tell you, or it's important for you to understand that I'm not asking you guys to double up on your workouts, okay? So when I say you need to move more, but then you're, you're hearing me say our 30-minute workouts are quick and effective and that's all you need, okay? It sounds like I'm uh, contradicting myself. But the fact is, is this is totally different than that formal exercise that we do on a daily basis in the faster way that programmed workout. Um, definitely don't, I, I don't want to ask you or encourage you to be doing more of that specific type of formal exercise or spending hours in the gym lifting weights or doing additional HIIT workouts. I'm simply referring to the movement that you are getting 
during your day outside of that formal exercise. Um, so my clients are always asking me if they should be doing more. Are the 30 minute workouts that we do in the faster way enough? And yes, they are enough in the way of formal exercise. But what you can still do is be more cognizant of the activity that you're getting throughout the day in other ways um, to increase that neat movement. Um, so there's re research out there that indicates that the, the lack of activity in those 23 hours of the day that you're not doing that formal exercise, 23 and a half hours, um, matters more in the prevention and treatment of chronic conditions. So that chronic disease that I mentioned earlier. So being sedentary and sitting all day long is actually more damaging um, you know, than some of the other things that we consider being uh, a huge factor. So sitting doesn't necessarily cancel out or being sedentary doesn't cancel out the benefits of that regular exercise. Like I said, that has benefits of its own, um, but there seems to be a threshold, and this is the research, um, th that if you're sitting more than 10 hours a day, your risk of cardiovascular um, disease increases. So that's kind of scary. Um, the faster way is not just a fat loss program. So we aren't just here to teach you how to lose weight to burn fat, although that is a wonderful side effect of the program. Um, but it's more of a gateway to better health and wellness. So I'm really focused on your total health and wellness in the long journey. The end game here is to uh, teach you how to be healthier overall. And so I encourage you all and I encourage my clients to be active outside of that formal programmed exercise, especially if you are like me and you spend a good amount of your day sitting at a desk or sitting just sitting. So again, this movement that I'm referring to is called NEAT, NEAT movement, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Um, and it's all the movement outside of that formal exercise, sleeping and eating. So I want to encourage you all to just consider ways that you can engage in more movement outside of that formal exercise, um, not only to increase your total daily energy or caloric expenditure, which will then lead to additional fat loss, but it also is going to greatly reduce your risk of those negative health out outcomes that are associated with being sedentary, um, that so many of us are, you know, so many of us are sedentary and at risk for these types of illnesses. So the more active you are in your daily life, the more your body upregulates the production of enzymes that play a really critical role in converting body fat into energy, okay? That's one of the, the goals of the, fat, the faster way is to really be able to maximize uh, our ability to burn fat, tap into our fat stores to make energy. And it upregulates the enzymes that make muscle more sensitive to glucose, okay? Um, and alternatively, whenever you are sedentary, it downregulates those that, that production of enzymes that play a role in the ability to regulate your glucose, the, your sensitivity to glucose, and your ability to burn fat. Um, so a lot of people will uh, measure NEAT exercise through a tracker. So you can track it on your Fitbit or your Apple Watch. There's free devices or free apps that you can download on your mobile device. Um, you don't necessarily have to track your movement, um, but that is one way that you can do it. If you are tracking, uh, the, the U.S. Department of Health recommends that you have a minimum of 10,000 steps on on your daily movement outside of the formal exercise that you do on a regular basis. Um, so if you're not tracking and you're you're curious, okay, well, what is my movement outside of that uh, that formal exercise? Then maybe consider downloading an app and keeping track. And if you are maybe only getting 6,000 steps a day, uh, you could consider 
trying to up that a thousand steps per day until you get to that 10,000 steps. Because I know it's easier said than done to get 10,000 steps in a day, especially if you're like me and you sit a lot. It's really difficult. Um, so maybe not setting a goal of necessarily hitting those 10,000 steps today, but setting that as a long-term goal that you're going to work yourself up to, setting those tiny, uh, tiny habits along the way. Um, to help you initially get to that bigger goal of 10,000 steps. Um, but like I said, you don't necessarily have to track your neat movement, um, but you can simply just seek opportunities in your day, in your daily life to move more. Um, so like I said, it can be definitely beneficial to increase your neat exercise throughout the day to help you expend more energy, which is obviously going to help you burn more fat, lose more weight, that kind of thing. Um, so what we want to do is, you know, we obviously want it to be a tool that we use in addition to everything else that we do in the faster way to improve fat loss. Um, also to, like I said, work with our total health goals. Okay. Um, so I encourage you all to incorporate that into your weekly schedule. I don't advise you to do more workouts, more formal exercise outside of what we recommend in our faster way uh, schedule, but I want you to consider adding as much of the non-exercise activity uh, that you want in order to move more throughout your day, because that can be extremely powerful in helping you get the results that you want. Um, so you're going to hear me in the faster way as I encourage my, you as a client um, to move more outside of that normal routine, especially if you have a seven, sedentary lifestyle. Or you'll hear me if I'm getting on a client call with one of my VIP clients and they're struggling, uh, they're experiencing a plateau. This is one of the things that we go through is how much movement are you getting outside of our formal exercise each day? What are you doing to increase that neat movement? So uh, my Faster Way clients know that we do fun challenges in our groups to kind of help incorporate more of that movement um, in our, in our weekly routine and that kind of thing. So we're constantly trying to uh, move more outside of what we are already doing in our, in our normal routine. So everyone, like I said, should be actively engaging in that neat, neat exercise every day or neat movement. Um, but it's especially helpful if you are like, okay, well, I only get, you know, 4,000 steps a day. If you're getting under that minimum eight to 10,000 steps a day, Let's start talking about how we can get more. Um, if you are not already considering opportunities to move more throughout your day and your day is very sedentary, that's a good time to start thinking about where you can move more. Um, if you spend a lot of time in the car, if you are, you know, or public transportation, or if you're not exercising, doing those daily exercise routines, you know, in the faster way, doing our 30 minute workouts every day, and you are physically capable of walking and stretching and moving in very low impact, gentle ways, uh, this is definitely going to help you see progress towards your goals. If you're traveling and you're not going to be formally exercising, how can you get out and move more? Um, and like I said, if you have reached a plateau in your uh, in your goals, if you're at a fat loss plateau, NEAT should always be considered. That should be one of the things that you're looking at. How can I get more movement in my day? Sitting is the new smoking. I'm telling you, <laughs> it is not good. Um, so how can you incorporate more of this in your day? Making small changes to just increase it just a little bit, increase that daily non-exercise activity can make a huge difference in your fat loss results, in your wellness journey, in your overall health. So here are a couple of ways that you can inc incorporate more NEAT into your everyday. So uh, maybe if you are used to using a car to get from point A to 
to be. Maybe you're running errands with a friend or you're taking your kids to the, the neighborhood park, that kind of thing. Maybe you, instead of drive your car, you walk or you take a bike. Um, if you have a desk job like this and you are sitting a lot, maybe you can get one of those stability balls to sit on um, and kind of bounce around. Just this movement is going to be considered neat. Uh, fidgeting even is neat. I was just thinking um, about this and how, you know, you have, you see kids and they're constantly fidgeting and you tell them to be still, be still, but really that's kind of their, their body's natural way of like burning off that energy. So um, just that small movement, or if you are able to get a standing desk, instead of sitting in a chair, you're going to burn more calories just by standing up to work. Um, you could, instead of taking an elevator or an escalator, take the stairs. If you're going to a store, park at the back of the parking lot and so you have more distance to get there. Um, if you are you know, on meetings, phone conversations, taking meetings throughout the day, you can get outside and maybe take those on your phone while you have a walk. Um, you know, maybe you get your lunch, you walk to your lunch, uh, place of lunch <laughs> where you're having lunch. Sorry, that didn't make any sense. Um, instead of driving there or getting it delivered, um, scheduling in breaks for movement is a great thing. You can set an alarm um, on your phone to remind you, okay, it's been an hour. I need to take a small break, get up and move around, stretch, do some air squats, take a little walk, do some jumping jacks, and then get back to it, which is also beneficial in another way, which I'm going to talk about here in a second. Um, but just putting a little bit of effort into those small daily, those daily things that you do that maybe you can tweak just a little bit to get more movement is great. Um, or playing with your kids, getting out and uh, playing wiffle ball in the backyard or, um, you know, taking long walks around the neighborhood, that kind of thing. Um, so the other thing that really hinders success in your weight loss or fat loss journey is your inability to handle stress. And we're all in a great deal of stress right now, especially. So increasing your NEAT actually will help you improve your stress hormones. So decrease stress, um, which will then help you to be able to see more improvements in your body composition. Um, so the higher stress you have in your life, the, the, the harder it is for you to see the success that you want in your body composition. So uh, even getting outside and movie, moving is going to lower stress. Being out in the sun is going to lower your cortisol levels. Spending time with you, people you love outside is going to make you feel good. Um, just breaking away, like I said, taking those, setting your alarm, taking time to move um, throughout the day, taking those small breaks in your workday is going to help you to kind of refocus and de-stress for a minute and then be able to go back and really focus and, and give it your best effort at work when you come back from that small break. Um, and just standing or moving and stretching, all of those things over time, um, instead of being hunched over your desk in a sedentary position, is going to help you with your posture. It's going to help with your digestion. So uh, those are a couple of ways that you can incorporate movement throughout your day that may not be it may not add in additional time to what you're already doing. It's just taking a different approach. So, um, so I would definitely consider doing that on top of your, that formal exercise, um, getting those 10,000 steps when possible, just making those small tweaks throughout your day. So um, hopefully this was helpful to you all and I hope you have a great weekend. Just wanted to remind you all that I do have another round of the Faster Way starting on Monday and I will help you to not only uh, get get more active and, and coach you through the um, the physical aspect of movement, but also helping you to pair that strategically and intentionally with um, your diet to really maximize your efforts and get you the results that you want. So I would love to have you join me um, on Monday, March 15th for my next round of the Faster Way. It is a six-week virtual um, uh, fitness and nutrition program. You will be coached throughout the entire process by me and um, we'll, it'll lead right up to spring break. So it's a fantastic time to do it and um, a very motivating time. So hope to see you all there. I'll leave the link to register in the comments here. And if you have any questions regarding what we chatted about today, please feel free to ask. Have a good one.